Good afternoon and welcome from Bridge Hall. And we're watching Stirling County against Ayrshire Bulls. Mixed fortunes for these sides after week one. It's a, an ideal afternoon in, in many respects. A pitch in excellent condition. Good running here from the edge of the 10 metre line and it was galloping at a real rate of knots there. Lewis McNamara, recycled ball just coming off the, the feet there of the Usher Bulls player who was perhaps expecting a pass to the upper body rather than to the feet. Now Stirling County playing a bit of football. It's going to be a foot race to the line here. Have they got enough? Is the ball going to go beyond the dead ball area? No, it's a fine try. It's a kick and chase there, Bruce Miller and Stirling County. That's a lung bursting effort you'd see in rugby sevens. But how about that? Turning defence into attack very quickly indeed. Yes, the Bulls again driving towards that line and the power of the forwards. The Bulls once again showing, illustrating how good they are in a, a situation like that. It was able to offload one handed to Cameron McMillan, who said Prop did well. Back it comes once more. Barnstorming run here will take County over the line and a wonderful score, George Arnott. It is off the bench, one of the first county replacements, and Arnott in underneath the post after a bit of barnstorming work by the forwards. Lanark wants to snatch it. Decoy run there coming in, but he actually goes for the inside centre, who is Jordan. Picked up again by Grant Stewart, and Stewart is over this time. There's no doubt about the Ayrshire Bulls try scorer on this occasion. Good work initially there by both the, the scrum half, Jordan Lanark and Tom Jordan. Well, well, here we go, the Stirling County towards the, um, up towards the 22. Yeah, ben Salmon with the offload on towards Logan Trotter, and Trotter backs himself, and that's a fine try. And you can see here, recycled again quickly through the hands of Holden, and this was a powerful piece of running here from Ben Salmon, who's trained with the Scotland under-20s. The little offload there, the timing of the pass onto Trotter, and he was just too quick for Aaron Tate. Recycled again, Calvin Henderson has it once more. On towards Jones for the placement scrum half. Still Ayrshire Bulls press and probe deep inside that 22. You can see how close they are to the post. A wonderful pass on the deck. And it's the Bulls that are through for a score. And I think it's the scrum half, Cam Jones, who just appeared leaping onto that pass from the deck. They're beginning to queue up there, the supporting cast, Hendleston just uh, adding his considerable bulk as this is better ball carrying from Stirling County. As I say that, the ball is dislodged, it goes loose, the referee is going to produce a card, it's a yellow card and Ayrshire Bulls are going to be down a man. Is that directed at uh, Blair McPherson, the skipper? He's, um, I think it is. Yeah, he's, he's walking away as a slightly disconsolate figure there. I think he knew himself as soon as he watched the referee go to the pocket that the card would be produced and it would be pointed in his direction. It's recycled again on towards Hiddleston. He was practically on the line but just couldn't ground the ball. Have they found a little bit of extra space? They have indeed. Piercing that defence, a replacement forward in the form of John McKenna is over for the try and that will, may well be enough to secure victory for Stirling County. Nine points in front with the bonus point in the bag. Recycled ball again coming through. Ayrshire Bulls missing McPherson and Ayrshire Bulls breached defensively once again and the Stirling County players celebrate a try that surely secures the contest. Bulls then line out, gathered, drive on, splinter drive, looks good, up and over they go. Consolation for the Bulls, they'll get the, the conversion attempt to bring them to within what's that, seven points and they'd get a, a losing bonus point. Can this conversion go for, for a losing bonus point? Minogue just wide of the uprights there, yeah that was a, a well worked try in the end, I think it was Joe Knight who grounded the ball over the line. Stirling County have come out on top, there's the scoreline, 33 points to 24.